Hey, welcome back. We are going through MS 700 certification examination series. My name is Sushant Sudish and I am your instructor for this certification course. In this lesson, we're going to learn about overview of Azure Active Directory for Teams. Azure Active Directory is the cloud-based identity and access management service for your Office 365. As such, it's a vital part of Microsoft Teams because Teams leverages identities stored in Azure AD for collaboration and communication. The license required for using Azure AD identities and for accessing Teams are included in a large number of different licensing bundles, such as small business plans like Office 365 Business, enterprise plans like Office 365 Enterprise E1, education plans like Office 365 Education, and developer plans like Office 365 Developer as well. So let's look at Azure AD Access Review. Because Azure AD enables you to collaborate internally within your organization and with users from external organizations such as partners, it is essential that organizations regularly review users' access to ensure that only the right people have access to the cloud resources. This can be accomplished through an Azure AD feature called Azure Access Reviews. Access Reviews enables organizations to effectively manage group membership, access to enterprise applications, and role assignments. Users' access can be reviewed on a regular basis to make sure only the right people have continued access and that no orphan permissions provide users with unintended access to cloud resources. So let's explore some of the common scenarios in the Azure AD Access Review. Too many users in privileged roles. It's a good idea to check how many users have administrative access, how many of them are global administrators, and if there are any invited guests or partners that are not being removed after being assigned to do an administrative task. What if the automation is infeasible? You can create rules and reviews for dynamic membership on security groups or Microsoft 365 groups, formerly known as Office 365 groups. This ensures that those users who still need access continue to have access. If you have a group that is going to be synced to Azure AD, or if you plan to enable an application for everyone in a specific group, it would be useful to ask the group owner to review the group membership prior to the group being used in a different risk content. For a certain resource, it might be required to ask people outside of IT to regularly sign out and give a justification on why they need access for auditing purposes. So why do you maintain a policy exception list? In an ideal world, all users would follow the access policies to secure access to your organization's resources. However, sometimes there are business cases that require you to make exceptions. Employees' access might be automated without some on-prem identity access management tool, but not invited guests. If a group gives guest access to business sensitive content, then it's the group owner's responsibility to confirm that the guests still have a legitimate business need for access. Have reviews recur periodically. You can set up recurring access reviews of users at a set frequency, such as weekly, monthly, quarterly, or annually. And the reviewers will be notified at start of each review. Reviewers can approve or deny access with a friendly interface and with the help of smart recommendations as well. Please note, using the Azure AD Access Reviews feature require an Azure AD Premium P2 license. 
let's look at conditional access. Conditional access is the set of rules for access control based on various specifications such as client service, registration procedure, location, compliance status and so on. This is used to decide whether the user's access to the company data is possible. By using conditional access policies, you can apply the right access control when needed to keep your organization secure and to stay out of your user's way when not needed. Let's look at Microsoft Teams group naming policy. Organizations use a group naming policy to enforce a consistent naming strategy for groups created by users in your organization. You can use the policy to block specific word from being used in group names and aliases. The naming policy is applied to groups that are created across all group workloads like Outlook, Microsoft Teams, SharePoint, Planner, Yammer, and so on. The group naming policy consists of two features, prefix suffix naming policy and custom block words. In prefix suffix naming policy, you can use prefixes or suffix to define the naming convention of group. The prefixes suffixes can either be fixed string like department or user attributes that will get substituted based on users who is creating the group. In custom block words, you can upload a set of block words specific to your organization that will be blocked in the group name that are created by users. For example, salary statement, human resources, etc. And finally, let's look at guest access. Guest access allows teams in your organization to collaborate with people outside of your organization by granting them access to existing teams and channels on one or more of your tenants. Anyone with a business or consumer email account such as Outlook, Gmail or others can participate as a guest in Teams with full access to your Teams chats, meetings and files. Guest access is an org-wide settings in your Teams and is turned off by default. Guest access is subject to Azure AD and Office 365 service limits. Don't worry. I have a demonstration prepared later, which I will take you through the demonstration on how to set that org wide settings. There is so much more to Azure AD, but in the context of Microsoft Teams, I'm limiting Azure AD here, but you can definitely check out other videos on MS 900 and AZ 900, where I have explained Azure AD in bit more details with demonstrations as well. So now that we have learned about overview of Azure AD, in the next video, we're going to talk about overview of Microsoft 365 groups. So I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.